Hello, students. Good evening, everyone. Hello, do you listen to me? Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, it's a pleasure to see you. How are you? Fine. Very fine. Excellent. I'm glad to hear you. So welcome to our English classes. For me, a great opportunity. You know, we're ready just to learn and do our best, okay? So I hope that we had a great time and because this is very valuable. And um, we always like try to, you know, do our best and work so hard, especially in this level. So it's it's important, you know, to concentrate our personal effort to, you know, try to do a great job and also and thinking about personal projections with the language. So I have a question. Do you study English? Do you practice? Do you study? Yes. yes? Yes. Okay, before that we start, I just want to ask you, what do you remember we studied? Tell me, tell me about it. What do you remember we did in the class yesterday? Because we had a great time to, you know, socialize, you know, when, important when I, I listen to music. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Watch the movie in English. Oh, that's great. That's that is very, very valuable. What else? Aladdin. Have? What? <laughs> <Hi>. Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those, those, those are actually great, you know? And, um, and we are talking about, you know, different likes and things that perhaps are necessary. Well, it's, it's always um, good, you know, to always practice and study and have a, a good feedback you know, of the topic of study, because we can learn, we can also have a short backup, because in the class, we practice, we uh, reinforce the content, but at the same time, we are um, always, like, trying to do our, uh, our best, so it's uh, definitely necessary to, you know, to make a difference, all right, and um, what else would you like to include or talk about our class yesterday? What else do you remember or something that called your attention? We talk about quantifiers. Ah, that's interesting. So tell me about it. So what, what quantifiers you remember? A few, a little. Most, nearly all, all. Ah, okay, okay. All right. So, and what is the purpose of the quantifiers? What is the purpose? What is the purpose of using a quantifier? Yes. De las cosas que eran contables y de las incontables. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So, and especially when we talk about amounts, like, uh, so that's was why, in um, we we definitely talk about it, right? So that's good. Okay, so let's continue with our class. And also I, I shared the presentation for our class right away. And um, the main goal of this is that we can also practice and maximize our skills. So let me show you here what we had to do. Look at this one. And always having a short feedback of the previous class and we had to choose the correct quantifier. So we have much, any, many, lots of, a lot of, and little, a little few and most. So as part of the feedback, I want you to help me with this exercise and also check the possible answer about it. So what I want you to do is like try to help me to complete this statement using the, the appropriate quantifier. So you can help me to check the sentences. 
are pretty easy and also we can like guess which one could be the best one. Much? They have have much homework in mathematics recently. Okay, so that's mean that, for example, in the first one, in homework is an uncountable now because homework could be different homework, so it could be in that case uh, the correct one. Many. Check that. Okay. Okay, so we can use the chat to answer the first one. So we're going to do that one. And so you said that they have had um, much homework. You can see that one. Number two, help me with that one. Help me with the number two. How many How times do you need to, to finish the work? Okay, um, how many? How, how many what or what? How much? What do you think? What how could much? Be? How much, right? How much time? Much. Okay, much. you can check that one. Thank you. We check that one. Look at this. Number three. Okay, help me with that one. Number three. Okay, number three is there are too many students, right? Yes, thanks, uh, Fiorella. I'm just gonna write that. Great job, so you, you can check that one. Um, well, in the chat here. Number four, happy obesity. What do you think would be the number four? Help me with that. Any, I think. Okay, look at the chat. Yes. Okay, thank you so much that we have the answer here. And on oh, that case, uh, eh, have you visited? So we're talking about some countries in general. Great job for that one. And number six, uh, look at the number six and tell me. Yes. Next. Most people. Okay. Um, look at people know as much about linguistics as John does. So we are saying that the per that the that people know. So you say a lot, a lot of medicine. Um, could be a lot, a lot of people. Maybe it's a good choice. Also, we can use the many too because we don't know. Some. Yet. Yeah. So we uh, a, a little people know as much about linguistic as John. Oh, 
a possible answer. So there are different answers in that case. So a lot of many people are good choices in that case. Number seven, look at this. Yes. Hello. Number seven. They say With it. Much, most much much almost. Okay. Knowledge is a dangerous thing. Mm, in that case, uh, most often. But in that case, uh, we can use much. In that case, that that will be a a possible choice because knowledge is unaccountable because we cannot count it. So much knowledge is a dangerous thing because we have a lot of knowledge. I don't know why the context of the sentence, but much could be a good choice in, um, to complete this statement. Look at the number eight. Um, he's having... Yes? A lot of... A lot of... A lot of trouble passing his driving test. Okay, that is a good choice. A lot of trouble passing his driving test. Uh, a lot of can be used for countable and uncountable now. So for both can be used. That's a fantastic. Uh, next. I spend a lot of my time writing novels. Okay. Let's see, I spent a lot. Okay, that is a good choice. Okay, that, that's acceptable. A lot of my time reading novels. Oh yeah, I, I spent much of my time also could be a, a good choice. I'm gonna write it here. That's good. Check this. Next, the last one, number 10. A little. Okay. Look at this. A little English. He knows enough English to manage, right? But he says uh, he knows, but he knows enough English to manage. But what do you think? So do you think it's a little or a lot? What do you think? Look at the chat. Do you think that could be a lot of? A lot of. He knows a lot of English. Mm -hmm. And he knows enough English to manage. So that's mean that this person has knowledge. So that is acceptable in that case. Great job with this. Okay, so we can see here uh, because of the practice. Look at this. Look at this. All right, so we'll continue with the next uh, exercise. We go on with that one and after the practice, but before I, before I move on to the next exercise, I need to ask you if you have any questions or comment about this exercise or is everything okay? Yes, is everything okay? Hello? Podría poner de nuevo, teacher. Uh, what? What do you What do you need? Este, la pantallita anterior que tenía. Mm, es, eso? es esta. Is this one? No, quizás me confundí. No era No era lo que yo estaba pensando. Yo pensaba que esos eran los ejercicios. 
y quizás no va. Eh, Está este bien. es el que estamos el que estábamos haciendo. Ajá. Entonces mostró otra pantalla, pero no sé si esa será la de los ejercicios. Um, no, es es this one. Ah, ok. Yes. So you can check that one. Okay, let's continue. One second. Let's check this one. We have the following exercise. Writing an email about your family. Write an email to your Ipol about your family. So look at this one. This is a very interesting, you know, picture here. And um, it says, dear John, John, thank you for your email. Now, let me tell you about my family. Look at this one. My parents are uh, coffee farmers. Most families here are small, and I have one older sister, but I don't have a brother. My sister's name, so you can check here, um, this part. It's a, it's a very interesting email. It says writing time, writing an email about your family. Because in the last classes, we talk about our family, parents. Also, we talk about the relationship between parents and, and also sons, daughter, cousins. We we'll talk about relatives, we talk about grandparents, and we talk about parents. And you can see an example of a very interesting email. It says, Dear John, uh, John, thank you. Thanks for your email. Now let me tell you about my family. My parents are coffee farmers. Most families here are small. I have one older sister, but I don't have a brother. My sister name is Carla. So you continue like uh, as an example. And what you had to do is you had to think about a friend of yours. And you will write an email describing your family. For example, uh, I live with my family. I live with my wife. And we live in a very beautiful house in the city or in the capital or in the downtown. We had a good time because there are many trees and there are a beautiful landscape because we can see the volcano and there are very interesting parks around my neighborhood. And we can also have a good time and enjoy our trip and, and, and do different activities. So we can also talk about um, things. So you can also write this email describing in a briefly way about your family. So in that case, uh, what I want you to do is to write it because later we will have a short time to socialize uh, this information with your classmates. We will take turns reading the email and also you can, in the groups, you can ask questions about that one is where, where do you live? Well, is your family from the Salvador? Are you living outside the capital? So you can also discuss with your partners about it. So I will give you this short time to think about your family. You can add important information about your family, information that you would like to transmit. Like for example, about you know family things so we can talk about it. So I will give you this time to, to work with that. And if you have any questions or doubts, and you can let me know. So I will give you uh, 10 minutes to do this one. So we're going to be here active. If you finished before the time, say, teacher William, I, I finished. And please let me know because when you tell me that you finish or not, I check the time and we can also start practicing in the breakout rounds.
Okay, do you have a question for the mommy? A doubt or, you know, let me know about it. Do you have a question, a doubt? Hello? Oh, everything is okay for the moment. It's okay, teacher. All right, thank you.
Okay, so we have a, a couple of minutes to conclude this part and uh, also share the information about our family. So I just want to ask if anyone from here finished the activity. Hello? I am ready, teacher. Excellent, great job. Someone else who says ready to? Ready. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so we're going to work in a small groups and we will take a short time to uh, share or email about our family. As you can see the example, and you will have the opportunity to, to talk about your family. And at the same time, and you will have the chance to work that and your partners can ask you questions about your family or something else that they would like to share. Because the most important is that we can also practice our English level and uh, feel confident talking because we can be working, writing, practicing vocabulary, but the best way is try to communicate because you're going to intermediate. The pre-intermediate, so that's mean that you are in the process to uh, speak, communicate in an intermediate level. So it's something that maybe we can uh, take into account for this process. So, and um, we will check right now how many members do do we have in each group? So because of the time, I want you to, um, well, to participate actively. And we know that this program is about communication. We need to communicate. We need to work with this activity. So please try to open your microphone and socialize with your partners. And congratulations for those who have the camera on because it's a requirement to have the camera on and work in the activities. Okay, so we have uh, right now the groups. We create the breakup rooms and you start socializing your information with, well, with your partners. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, I'm ready. Perfect. Let's go and practice. So let's see, um, we don't have uh, Javier and Ingrid, uh, Diana. Okay, so try to join the groups because we are in groups right now. Most of them are working in, in groups. So I want you to join this um, conversation with our partners.
If you want, you can uh, begin, Henry. I don't know. Perdón. If, if you can, you, you begin. Or, I don't know. I don't know. Because Diana was uh, writing right now. A little. Teacher William, how can I say jubilados? Um. I'm sorry, sorry. Ah, okay. <laughs> sorry, I was like getting some some trouble. It's a person that is called retired. Retired. Retired, yes. This is a person. You know. okay. Yes, sorry, because I thought that I had the the, the microphone on. <laughs> well, okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's ¿Cómo se dice? My dad works in, uh, in construction. My mom uh, is a, ¿cómo se dice? Ama de casa, se me olvidó. Housekeeper, algo así. Housewife. Housewife. Ok. I have two sisters. The older sister is a manager. My okay. sister is a student, is a medicine student. Uh, my family is small. I don't have a brother, but I have a cat. Okay. My older sister name is Lady Cruz. My young sister name is Brenda. And that is the story. Okay. In this case, como el teacher dijo que teníamos que preguntar, va. En este caso, do you have a family design? ¿Tienen algún negocio familiar? Uh, no, we don't have. Okay. 
no sé qué más preguntar. Teacher, tengo un problema. Como yo me conecto en la compu y en el teléfono, eh, me aparece que estoy en línea con Wendy, parece. Creo que me conectó por, por error. O Lorena Araceli, parece. You are in two devices, en dos dispositivos este. Que la compu, porque si no, no veo nada. No. Pero no puedo con el sonido. Ok, all right. Ok. Yeah, I understand. Ok, don't worry. <laughs> Pues creo Did que ya you... terminó. Okay. Tell, us, tell us about your family. Well, so, <laughs> yeah, so in my case, the, I, I live with my family. So, you know, I have some, you know, two sisters, but we live in different places. But most of the time, we try to communicate with them. And also, I, I live here in San Salvador, and definitely it's a nice place, it's in the city. And well, what I can say about it? So it's my neighborhood is pretty awesome. It's very nice. I have friendly neighbors, and also they we know each other. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Because of the time, we're gonna go back to the main session because most of the classmates have finished. Congratulations because you practiced and we will continue doing a great job. Let's go back to the main session. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye, Ingrid. Bye, Adriana. Bye. Okay, we came back and also congratulations to everyone for practicing in the groups. I just want to break the rules and I just want to ask um, someone from this class that can read or share um, his or her information about family. Who wants to talk about your family? I need a volunteer. Uh, me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, tell us. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, the, the, the camera. Try to activate it. Uh, <laughs> okay. And actually, I live my mom and my two sisters. I have uh, two dogs and my cat and my sister haven't three cats. Yeah, so much, but he, but not stay in my house. In my house, only sorry, I don't know the jardin. The garden. How do you say garden? The garden. Ah, uh, yeah, garden, and I don't know. Solamente, um, yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Arila. I really appreciate it. Great job. Thank you for sharing us um, valuable information about your family. Thank you. Someone else who would like to do it? Another volunteer? Me? Okay, okay. Uh, okay, Wendy? Yes. Um, my maid. Dear teacher William, I live with my family in El Salvador. We are four days. They are, we are four. Their names are my husband Edwin, my son Axel, and, daughter, and my daughter Jess. We have a family business. We work as a team. My husband and I do the shopping. 
my son and my daughter make cookies and pizzas. We enjoy as a working family. The practice was nice. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Congratulations for the word done. It was uh, very interesting too, uh, to know about your family. It's very interesting to, to think about, you know, this special connection most of you have with your family. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, thank you so much. We will continue uh, practicing because it's important to go to show this one. Well, we continue with the next exercise and I need a volunteer right now to um, uh, take a picture. Uh, I don't know if you can take a picture to this um, article and then share it in the group. I need a volunteer that can help me to do that one. And let me know if you um, have it. It's for, can someone send it? Thank you. It's done, right? Yes. Done. Okay. And also, I need you to help me to take a picture to these uh, questions and send it to the group. And let me know if you could do it. Yes? It's done, too. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So you can also check this one. And um, what I want you to do is to take a short time to read the following article. This is a, it has a very special message. And one second, it's right here. So we're going to read the article and answer the questions. So those that are shared in the group. So we're going to work in this and um, try to respond because we're going to do it together. And before concluding the class, I will take a short time right now to check the attendance list so you can help me with that. One moment. Okay, meanwhile, you work in this activity, uh, we will check the attendance list either. Ana Isela Janes? Present. Uh, Ana Ruth Perez? Present. Carlos Ernesto Flores? Carlos? Eh, David Alejandro Rodriguez? Eh, David, David Alejandro is here? No, it's not David. Okay, David Rafael Ramos. Present. Diana Beatriz Reyes. Um, 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 um. Diana, Be uh, Diana Beatriz Reyes. No, mm. she's not. Uh, guys, check the microphone, please. Uh, Diana Cristabel Melendez. Present. Um, Eric Javier Ventura. Eric Javier, no está. Eh, Fiorella Alejandra. Present. Thanks. Gerardo José Tepas. Present. Eh, Henry Alejandro Flores. Present. Ingrid Magdalena Castellanos. Present. Uh, Present. 
Jorge Francisco López. Mm -hmm. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Juana Marín. Teacher. Yeah. Este, um, Diana writes in the WhatsApp chat. Eh, Diana Beatriz. For the... Which Diana? I don't know, but uh, she she have uh, she has a problem with the. Diana Beatriz, teacher. Okay. She's in the she's in the group. Juana Margarita presents. And hmm. Okay, thank you. Eh, Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Present. Eh, Catherine Ni Nicole Salazar. Present, teacher. Teacher, eh, aquí estoy, Diana Beatriz. Es que se me trabó, me cayó agua y se me trabó la clase en el oh. teléfono. Yes, um, I have it. Thank you. Thank ah. you. Yes. Eh, Katy Jordana. Dos Present, group. teacher. Eh, Laura Lizeth Peña. Laura Lisette. Oscar Otaniel Cruz. Present. Mirna Jasmine Portillo. Mirna. Eh, Oscar Otaniel. Oscar. Present, teacher. Present. Thank you. Reina Jael Arevalo. Reina. Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Present. Sebastián Guadalupe Aguilar. Present, teacher. Eh, Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez. Tatiana. Eh, Úrsula Adriana Burgos. Úrsula. She's not. Eh, Wendy Lisette Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. Um, yes. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Yes. It's updated. Okay, we updated. It's Thank here. Uh, Laura Lisset Peña, by the way. Is that Laura Lisset? Está Laura Lisset? No es... Ahí está, yes. Ok, don't forget to activate the microphone. It's important. Eric Javier estuvo presente. He tenido problemas con la conexión un poco, pero he estado presente. Ok, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Ventura. Thank you. Ok, almost ready or not yet. Are you ready? Hello? Yes, I'm ready. All right. So we will share the answers before concluding our class today. Let me share my screen. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Okay. Can you see the, sorry, sorry. Let me see, I don't find my presentation. I think it's this. 
Okay, the first one is the, um, there is a cure for the common cold. What do you think? It could be true or false? False, it's false, false. Exactly, the first one is false, yes. So in that case, uh, definitely that um, is false, right? Uh, there are different common calls that, you know, there are no specific cure, but also special treatment. And number two, there are 22 different call viruses in the world. What do you think? It is false. It's false because in the article, uh, say, it's more than 100. Yeah, a lot of uh, the mutations, the changes, the variations. So there are more than 22. Correct. The next one was uh, heat in your body kills viruses. True. True. Yes, because the body uh, used as a, as a way to, to stop the virus, to protect the body. Yes. Number four, congestion means your head feels hot. What do you think? What do you think? Congestion means you, your head feels hot. Number four, what do you think? It's false. It's false, right? So it doesn't mean that, that it's hot. It's something yeah. different. Next, number five, in this case, some people eat chicken soap to feel better when they have a cold it's true yes people uh, drink and eat chicken soap or some other soaps that can help them to be better number six scientists always think taking medicine is good when you have a cold what do you think Scientists say say uh, that is bad for the people. So, what do you think? In that case, uh, always, always think, or there are some other remedies. There are some other remedies. Exactly. So, in that case, I mean, it's good taking medicine. But it's not necessarily always, always medicine. There are some other means or treatment that you can use to, you know, to release that one. That's important. And the last, and bodies work hard to try to get rid of viruses. What do you think? Yes. The body work hard to try to get rid of viruses. It is true. It is true. Exactly. That is the way. Excellent. So the, the body's working against those viruses. Okay. We're about to finish. Thank you so much for being here in the class and practice. And uh, we hope to see you tomorrow. We're about to finish this uh, process and we will continue with a different level. So um, any questions before concluding? Mañana terminamos. Eh, on, I think we, we are, because we are uh, 14, so then 15 and 16. So in two more classes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I hope to see you tomorrow, guys. And thank you so much for this night. And see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care a lot. Bye-bye.